We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves. Nick Castellanos at the plate now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. All even now, two and two. Now the pitch. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. That'll bring in Philip Irvin, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. 67 degrees, our game time temperature. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, 3 and 1. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on deck circle. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Line toward the alley in left center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is third. The first baseman, number 19, Joey. Votto. At the plate, Joey Votto. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez comes into this one with three hits in 11 at bats in the series. A 1 1. Mike Moustakis would be next if they can keep this inning alive. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Another payoff pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. At the plate, Ozzie Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1. Is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. Di Sclafani has thrown a little over 110 innings so far, and with an ERA in the fives, has some work to do to bring it down into a more respectable range. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ozzie Albies is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Hard on the ground towards short. Albies on the slide. Got him. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Three and two, full count. Line toward right center. Aquino will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Mike Mustakis. His prior history versus this arm, he's 0 for 4. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2-2. Two and two, But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that will go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for route number one. Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Again, he sends it out of play. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Got it, got it. In now for the Reds, Aristides Aquino. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Ball taken there, 2 and 1 now. Here it comes. Just behind the ball there, two strikes now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Here's another 2 2. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Ozuna. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. The next to bat for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. This is foul right side. Fouled off. Skied into straightaway right. Irvin is there. Two down. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready on one and two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Outside in a full count, three and two. A doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Swing and he pops him up. Galvis into shallow left. He can't get there as it falls in. Standing in now, Johan Camargo. And he fouls this one off. The one two is taken for ball two. Fouled away. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. The third baseman, Austin. To the plate now, Austin Riley. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Flowers, the runner at third. Camargo on second. Riley at first, two out in the inning. One and two now to the Braves pitcher. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. At the plate, Kurt Casale. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 3 1. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Acuna will wait on it. And he's got it for out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. And so the pitcher will bat next. That brings up Anthony DiSclafani. The 1-1. That's a ball. 
You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he will make the play. Two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Two and two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Camargo's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Stepping in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Swing and a liner. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Nick Markakis digging in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The three and one pitch. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Liner toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Freeman. Stepping in now, Freddie Freeman. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Ronald Acuna, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And this will get past Votto down the line, a fair ball. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. In now, Marcelo Zuna. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. So now to the plate, Tyler Flowers. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Philip Irvin, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on. And get a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate, Joey Votto. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Oh, 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 oh. 
Into the box now, Eugenio Suarez. Swing, strike two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And that's through for a hit. Standing in now, Mike Mustakis. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. The 1-1 one -one home. Runners on the move for second. Pitch swung out and missed. Throw in time as he just gets the tag down. The 1-2. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Johan Camargo. The 1 1 home is off the plate, up and away. The count is two and one. And it's fouled away. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Austin Riley, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. In now, Austin Riley. The third baseman. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Skied into straightaway right. Irvin will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, Sean Newcomb. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Galvis, but wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Two gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. The one-two. Man at first with two out in a two-two ball game. Fouled off. The next one two pitch. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He set the payoff pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. He set the 3-2. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. And this is going to work out for him. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. The first baseman, number five. At the plate now, Freddie Freeman tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that misses for ball four to Freeman as he'll work the walk. Ronald Acuna will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Still a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Castellanos is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. New inning set to get underway and next to bat will be the outfielder Aristides Aquino. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. Digging in for his second at bat, Kirk to Sally. He Kirk flew out in his last Kirk. at bat. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch, or he's going to start getting hurt. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. To the plate now, Wade Miley. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. 1-1. One, one. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Marquecas on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. That'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. A hit in two tries so far. The 2-2. Two -two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two two. Here it comes. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Skied into straightaway right. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Hit high and deep out to left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Lifted into center field. Aquino is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Cole Hamels please. takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. Number 32, Cole 
ready once again Philip Irvin he's off to a fast start in this one two for two including a home run boy this guy right here on that last AB how about straightaway center field he hits a bomb and as a pitcher you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark but a guy like this if he has pop to hit it out to center field I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner the first place number 19 in now Joey Votto neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue the 2 2 one more time here's a little chopper up the middle Albies brings it in throw to first is in time for the first out so a runner stands at third one man is out and that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball looking at his lifetime numbers Suarez comes into play with a slugging percentage over 490 just shy of 500 so he's looking to inch closer to that nice plateau right here three and one to him now hitters count all the way here it comes squared that one up just a little late. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could the get them out of the inning. Second base. Mike. The 2-1. Taken. Strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in this Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The bat, number three, shortstop, Freddie. Stepping in now, Galvis. Freddie Galvis. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now Digging in once again, Aristides Aquino. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. At the plate, Kirk Casale fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Ready with the payoff pitch. This is line to left. Ozuna is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. of the inning now and that'll give way to the third baseman Austin Riley things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning this is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out Ender Inciarte He's going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamilton. One out, nobody on. Full count to Ender Inciarte, three balls and two strikes. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies. It was a walk in his last trip. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, look at the dive. And give it up on a phenomenal play to retire the side.
Darren O'Day is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Nick Senzel is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Senzel. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. Here he comes again, one, two. Ball two. Next down, two and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Nicholas Castellanos. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Lifted in the air to center. Acuna's there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Stepping in, so Philip Irvin. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Robert Stevenson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first number down. Freeman, so the leadoff Freddie. man's gone, and that'll bring in the Freeman. first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put-away stuff. And he fouls this one off. Now the three and two pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Right fielder looking up. Gone! So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Rysel Iglesias takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Standing in now, Marcelo Zuna. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Still only one out in the inning. Fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Marcelo Zuna becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. 
skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Grant Dayton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 75. Ready to begin the eighth. And here comes the first baseman, Joey Votto. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's one for two in this one. And the pitch on two and one. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. On deck, Mike Mustakis. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. The batter number nine. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Mustakis. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up Acuna. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. Into the box, Freddie Galvis. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now a curveball misses inside. Aristides Aquino waits on deck. Hot shot on the ground is short. Camargo brings it in. And that's the second out. Now Digging in now, Aristides Aquino. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 2-2. Two -two. Kurt Casale would be next. Foul tip here, but it's held on to for the out. Good work behind the plate, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. The 2-2. Two -two. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. In now, Austin Riley. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Seared down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is line to left. Castellanos is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Matt Bowman will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Scott Schebler is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Runners on first with one down. Lifted down the line in left. 
God. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Again, a one-two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. So a runner at second. Two down now. And that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Now the one and one pitch. Bowman is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Three and two now. Hit sharply on the ground. Moustakis is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Luke Jackson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Well, set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Casale. The 1-1. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Mark Hankins is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Scott Shebler. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hit hard to the right, but foul. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Nick Castellanos now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard on the ground to second. Albies scoops it up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Michael Lorenzen comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in, the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. 1-1 one, one home. Two, one. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Standing in, Freddie Freeman. He went deep last time up. And that last at that, he went deep. He turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Throw not in time to get him, and how about that? An unlikely infield single. To the plate now, Ronald Acuna. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Dansby Swanson will come on now and pinch run here. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Striding into the box, Tyler Flowers. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The two one pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. 
Final strike for the Braves. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. 7-5 tonight's final. Cincinnati came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Rysel Iglesias wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Michael Lorenzen wraps it up for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Seven runs on nine hits. No errors. They left three men on base. For Atlanta, five runs. 